Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home. Here we go again. They lived in peace. Not until thing. hunters took their dad away. Oh god. <laughs> and they had to go on the run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was an was not old brat. Wolf, but a super wolf. They soon entered the old forest of the giants. <laughs> where they what? met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. And everybody loved the little wolf. <laughs> Who was growing up fast. Oh God, this is so cringe. His power was growing too. The big brother hooked up with the leader of the pack. Accidentally. <laughs> and he taught him so much about life. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. It wasn't the suddenly. Look was into dangerous. their head. Okay. He transformed into a super wolf <laughs> and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded. And worse, he didn't know where the little cub was. What? So he didn't know where he was? Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, it's just it was a bad idea. This was Daniel. Back? I'm guessing. No way. It's all good. Yeah, it was a flashback for me. <laughs> okay. It's like a new frontier girl kind of flashback. Even though Wait, what? I wanted to It's okay, what? dude. Is this a dream? You're my brother. This must be a dream then. And that's all that counts. So why don't you come and get me? Yeah, it's a dream. <laughs> I'm alone, Sean. Push him off the edge. I don't know what to do. Jump, I'm jump, 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 jump. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. I believe I can fly. Stop. <laughs> uh. You really don't see that haircut. Fuck. Food. This must be my punishment. Looks pretty shit. Cassidy, look up right there. I'm glad the cops didn't mess with them too. I really hope they could keep going. Finn's alive anyway, I guess. Yay! Stupid reality shows. Nothing's. The TV's not even on. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey, not feeling it today. Mm. Let's take a look. I don't blame you. From Detroit, but maybe human. I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate. Uh oh. Yeah. There's that smile. Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before. Mm, you know. Before they check you out. Check me out to Julie. <laughs> Julie. <Yeah. clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Come oh. on, Sean. You've been there before. Been where? I can't see it. I'm blind. Straining too hard? Yes. Headache? <sighs> nah. I just... <sighs> Can't really focus today. Bloop. Yep. Sorry. Looking this way.
does that say? What are you saying about me? Remember, to see objects on your left side, you gotta turn your head more now. You're way off today. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. This is tough. Your depth perception will always be affected. So you gotta try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. Oh, come on. What the hell? Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. You just said that. Mm. Here, read this. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey. Sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. He <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch him. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I ship it. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. What? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court. For the murder of a Seattle police officer. You that might wasn't spend him. the rest of your life in prison. Or you can talk to me. I chose prison. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So, who did? You do know. It's just, I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is yes. that why you can't talk? No, no way. And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Are you shitting me? That officer freaked out and shot him! In front of me and Daniel! Just guilty of being... Here are you, but... You sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? It happens. Jesus, no! <sighs> that was Daniel. Just tell Look her. at me. Okay, let's just jump ahead. Tell me what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. I've told you so many times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. Hey, yeah, Sean. Ben, or the other guys. Throw me a bone here. Joe. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. <sighs> okay. Fuck. The robbery. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? We all did. Meryl totally ripped us off. Not a good guy. That's what happens when you mess with drug traffickers. Danny wanted to leave, but he's just a kid. And I didn't listen. Why didn't you try to get help? Go to the police. Oh, yeah. The police would help me. After they <laughs> shot my dad and accused okay. us of murder. Great plan. 
So Finn wanted to get revenge on Meryl too. Your friend is learning the hard way. I didn't want any of this shit. Now I gotta live with it. You're not alone, Sean. There are people that want to help. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. Yeah, I got it later. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. All you need now is like a, ca a, like a trucker cap and a beard and you've got that candy look down. I'm not gonna lie. You said it. Sorry about that. Okay. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. And your brother is paying the price. Fuck. You. I'm done. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> Can we just let him go and get Finn and just escape? Look out! I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Aw, oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. Thank you. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, <laughs> you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. Oh god, it's gonna be gross, isn't it? The healing is coming along no, nice. Not... Just gotta keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. See? That's great. See it properly. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I wanna hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Yeah. Stuck in jail is a big change. Can't wait. Sorry, Joey. I'm being a dickhead. Just bummed out. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Is it ice cream? Now as for your wound, Please be ice cream. this is the last time you hear I want ice cream. Me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Okay. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. shit. Remember, I'll bite you. you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. Uh, I'm sorry you know, about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch- Oh, shit. <sighs> Emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean. Check out that towel. Got your name all over it. Why did somebody have my name on that towel? Catch you later. 
There's not gonna be much in it to be fair. I've never haven't really drawn much over the past three episodes. I've tried to avoid it. Wait. What's that? Super wolf. Huh? Does that mean it means that Daniel Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? Yeah. He's safe? I could see him again. Huh. I gotta get to him. John, why, Jacob? <laughs> gotta find a way to escape. Tonight. 